All right, so we're gonna be doing the peak brightness test for HDR first, and this is the TCL R635. And right now I have it ramping up. And right now you guys can see we are at 694 nits. That is again on a 2% window stimulus in HDR. Now as we move forward to a 10% uh, window stimulus, we do have again, 1,035 nits. You guys can see that reflected right here. So it's just gonna sit right here. It's, I had it sitting here for a second. It's just kind of solid, 1,035 nits. Again, that is on a, well, what is it? A 10% window stimulus. And this is an HDR for anybody wondering. I'm gonna open up the picture settings here so you guys can see that we are in HDR bright mode. You actually probably can't see that. I'm gonna have to get up and walk over so you can see we are in HDR bright mode. So I'm not playing any games or any tricks with you guys. This is what it is. Now we're on a 25% window stimulus and you guys can see it is at 1,100 and of <laughs> Apple software, so old. I don't ever, ever update this computer. Give me a second here, close that out. Boom, okay, and you guys can see we are on 1,125. Uh, so again, very impressive. 25% window stimulus though in HDR is gonna look better on the Hisense H9G. Now, the reason I point that out is because they are the same exact price, and that means you are getting a better HDR experience for the same exact money with a different manufacturer. Not sponsored by Hisense. Uh, not a fan of any particular one brand, but I know a value when I see one and I'm just gonna point that out. Though, if you really want this TCL and you really like are excited for it, I can say as I put up the 2% and as I put up the all, all the other window stimuluses, they all are really, really uniform. I don't have any blooming or anything like that in HDR and that is important to note here where SDR was a little bit wonky, HDR seems to be a little bit more buttoned up. Uh, at least as far as these uh, patterns, these windows, I don't, I don't see anything whatsoever in HDR. So that's very good in that regard. There. Um, now it, it did go down. We are in the 25% window stimulus, and it's at again, but it's still at 1100. So 1100 plus is what I'll call it at. Now as we enter the 50, or what is it? The I believe yeah, this is a 50% window stimulus here. So as we enter that in HDR, we are seeing lower numbers at 813. So not exactly the best, but it's not the worst I've ever seen either. And you guys can see right there, the 50% window stimulus covering basically the entirety of the screen. And as I look at it again, very uniform. There aren't any blooming areas, no clouding, nothing. So the local dimming algorithm is working very well in HDR and that is important to report at this time. Now, as we move to a 100% window stimulus, we are at 690 nits right now and that is again on that same 100 percent window stimulus that we all know and love so as you guys can clearly see it's not a dim tv but it's also not the brightest thing that we've seen um especially in the same price point but still a decent showing for tcl so i hope this video finds you guys well we'll be doing the uh, sdr peak brightness test next now we're doing SDR and this is the 2% window stimulus here. So as you guys can clearly see, we have 697 with a high of, uh, I believe it was like 747 or something like that. It happened for like a split second and dropped off real fast as you guys can see, but it's about 696. That's what you do have right here. Now we're gonna check out the 10% window stimulus in SDR and as we do that, you guys can see it is now at 1,040. So there you guys have it. Now 1,022, it does drop fairly fast, but you guys see it is at 1,000 nits even in the SDR mode, and that is for a 10% window stimulus. For a 25% window stimulus, we are going to be rocking with 1,100 nits. So again, similar to what we saw in HDR, very similar. 1100 nits and I don't expect it to change too much past that uh, 1118 is where we are right now and that is on that 25% window stimulus on our 50% window stimulus we are sitting at 805 as a peak so far and I think that will hold fairly confidently having done this before I mean it's really nothing too crazy there and for the 100% window stimulus we are sitting at 
683. So nothing too crazy again. It's just pretty generic as far as the peak brightness, something we've seen in the market before. It's not like, you know, game change or anything, but it's not bad either. So again, acceptable brightness from TCL. And I really hope this video helps you guys out. This is the peak brightness test of the TCL R635. Thanks for watching. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.